Oh, okay, I see. So I work at Publix, and as you know, we don't particularly make top dollar, but I'm gonna show you in this video how I got my videos going from this are gonna help make you successful, you know, to this right now. So first we have to talk about video, and unfortunately the camera is the big ticket item here, so I'm using the Sony Alpha with a 30 millimeter lens, and I find that to be good because it's not too close up to my face, nor is it too far back. And uh, Sony Alpha is pretty much a plug and play kind of camera. You know, you just set it up, turn it to video, and you're good to go. Unfortunately, it is very expensive, but I didn't have to pay for it because I am a student at University of Florida, and I was able to rent this camera from my library. If you're unsure that this is a craft that you wanna pursue, or maybe you just don't have the money to spend, I definitely encourage you to reach out to some of those places and take a look at what they offer and do pick up a Sony if they have it. This Sony is really cool because unlike something like a Canon Rebel, I can flip up the screen and I can see what I'm recording so I can make sure that the lighting looks good, I can make sure that I can make sure that I'm in focus and I can make sure that everything that is in frame that needs to be in frame. So even like a little bit of this uh, microphone here which is what I wanna talk about next, the microphone. So good audio for your video is so important because here's what it sounds like with the camera audio and then here's what it sounds like with the microphone. Notice the difference? Yeah. Fortunately, the microphone is not a super big ticket item. This was only about uh, $75. In fact, this particular microphone, and this is a Blue Yeti, I got off a of Facebook Marketplace for someone for uh, $40 just in the area. And you can see everybody's selling microphones and everybody's uh, wanting to get rid of their drones or technology equipment because people tend to come and go into this creator space and I hope I don't. And so you can pick these items up for very cheap and I didn't mind uh, paying, the, paying the $40 for this particular microphone too because I wanted to have something good for uh, teleconferencing and such like that. So here it is seen it before everyone's seen it before hello the other item that i actually went and purchased is this monopod or it's really it's technically a tripod but it's got small legs and i love this thing it's super super small it's only 20 dollars, and it folds up very tightly and it's just a great addition to have and finally someone with a brain cell decided to screw the quarter inch screw into the camera instead of screwing the camera onto the quarter inch screw so you can position it where you want it screw in that screw and you're ready to go as for editing, you've got a lot of choices, but for me, what's been working right now is CapCut. Uh, somebody introduced me to this this summer. It's got all these presets and it's got a bunch of templates built in. You can do auto captioning on your timelines and I find it to be working really well, but if the channel grows and the content that I wanna create um, exceeds, you know, maybe the capabilities of the free version, I would consider either purchasing the pro version or um, maybe moving to something like DaVinci Resolve. But I think for uh, short form content or for budding creators, CapCut is a great choice and it's been for me, so I highly recommend it. I use a combination of GIMP and Canva to make my thumbnails. It, it just depends like what I need it for. GIMP is basically a free GIMP alternative and it's great if you want to work with um, particular manipulations of photos like fine hair strands or green screening or whatever for that matter. And then Canva is good because Canva has a bunch of uh, shapes and they have a bunch of, uh, and you can put arrows in your thumbnails and you can just easily drag these things in after you do a quick search for them. So basically to make this video, the cost was $40 for the microphone, $20 for the tripod, all the software is free. Um, and then I'm assuming you guys have a laptop and whatever cords you need. Um, the thing is the camera though. So this studio, is, so it's studio is technically less than a hundred dollar studio but it depends if you're factoring in the cost of that camera which um is not technically necessary if you had to pick between a camera and a microphone of course pick the microphone but assuming a camera and a microphone were the same price i would still purchase the microphone first if you can only purchase one so that's pretty much it thank you all for watching if you appreciate the content if you like it um, or if you want to see like some other like fun things coming up, which there's going to be plenty of that in the future, uh, definitely like and uh, give me subscribe because I'd appreciate that. And uh, stay in touch. I'll see you in the next time.